Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to prove Leibniz formula for pi. Here, uh, pi over 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus so on. Well, how to begin? Okay, uh, we have several methods to uh, prove this identity. So, in this video, I am going to um, use the uh, complex definition of Fourier series. We know f of x is equal to uh, sum of n is equal minus infinity to infinity cn here we know cn uh, complex Fourier coefficient times e to the i n x and uh, cn is equal to 1 over 2 times pi minus phi to pi f of x times e to the minus i n x t x okay let's take uh, f of x is equal to x f of x is equal to s uh, then we know c n c n is equal to 1 over 2 times pi integral minus pi to pi now f of x is equal to x so x times e to the minus i n x dx okay now uh, to evaluate this integral uh, we can use ibp integration by parts so i am going to rearrange this integral 1 over 2 times pi minus pi to pi here as a first function i am going to take x then d by dx then integration of e to the minus i n x we know e to the minus i n x over minus i n t x okay then uh, here 1 over 2 times pi now product of these two functions so we can write x times e to the minus i n x over minus i n uh, limit from minus pi to pi then again minus integral from minus pi to pi now rewrite this function so e to the minus i n x over minus i n now derivative of first function we know one so here d x okay uh, then we can uh, apply limit uh, upper boundary pi and lower boundary minus pi so we can write uh, here one over two times pi here if we apply pi we know pi times e to the minus i n pi uh, over minus i n then minus here also minus so plus pi times e to the i n pi over uh, here again uh, minus i n okay then here uh, we have minus here minus so we can write uh, plus and here we have 1 over 2 times pi so 1 over 2 pi i n uh, now integration of uh, e to the uh, okay uh, here minus pi to pi e to the minus i n x d x we can uh, simplify mm, here pi we know uh, get cancelled and we know uh, e to the e to the i pi n is equal to uh, e to the i pi raised to the n power so minus 1 to the n power okay then uh, we can uh, simplify here now here minus i n so we can write minus 1 over 2 i n to i n uh, and here uh, we can write e to the i n phi is equal to uh, 1 over e to the i n phi so we can write 1 over minus 1 to the n plus minus 1 to the n plus 1 over 2 pi i n and uh, this integral uh, we know uh, is integral and we know this is equal to 0 so this part will be 0 okay here 0 so then 
uh, as a next if uh, we can write uh, here uh, cn is equal to now minus 1 over 2 times i n minus 1 over 2 times i n uh, then uh, we can multiply by minus 1 to the n so minus 1 to the n over minus 1 to the 2 times n we know 1 so 2 times minus 1 to the n 2 times minus 1 to the n and this 2 get cancelled and we know cn is equal to uh, we can write minus 1 to the n minus 1 over i times n okay here uh, we know um, now uh, for this calculation we know n integer and also uh, n is not equal to 0 but uh, what happened when n is equal to 0 what happened when n is equal to 0 so when n is equal to 0 we know c naught complex Fourier coefficient uh, is equal to 1 over 2 times pi minus pi to pi x dx we know this is equal to 0 therefore uh, we can write uh, the Fourier series of x representation Fourier series representation of x is equal to uh, n is equal minus infinity to infinity c n times e to the i n x okay then uh, we know uh, if you break the limit split the limit uh, minus infinity then uh, 0 here minus 1 here 1 here infinity so we can write uh, this is equal to um, sum of n is equal minus infinity to minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 uh, cn we know minus 1 to the n minus 1 over i times n uh, e to the i n x plus then when n is equal to 0 we know 0 plus then uh, n is equal 1 to infinity so we can write n is equal 1 to infinity again c n we know minus 1 to the n sorry minus 1 to the n minus 1 over i times n e to the i n x okay then uh, here we have 1 to infinity but here we have minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 so we can change the index uh, by uh, substitution substituting uh, minus n for n so we can write here uh, we know now n is equal 1 to uh, infinity now here minus 1 to the n minus 1 here also minus 1 to the n minus 1 so minus 1 to the n minus 1 over n is a common factor and then here e to the i n x here we have a minus sign so minus e to the minus uh, i n x over 2 sorry uh, not 2 here i okay mm, then we know uh, here we have x x is equal to uh, here sum of n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1 over n times this is the uh, definition of uh, complex definition of uh, sine of x uh, but uh, we should multiply by 2 so we can write now uh, this is equal to um, sine of uh, nx uh, but we should multiply by 2 2 times sine of nx okay then uh, we know the Fourier uh, series uh, representation here um, holds for uh, minus pi to pi uh, so uh, let's take x is equal to pi over 2 x is equal to pi over 2 so we can write pi over 2 is equal to 2 times uh, n is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n minus 1 over n sine of n pi over 2 okay uh, then 
if we take uh, sine of pi over 2 sine of pi over 2 we know sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1 then if we take sine of 2 pi over 2 we know 0 then if we take sine of 3 pi over 2 we know minus 1 then if we take uh, sine of 4 times pi over 2 we know 0 then if we take sine of 5 times pi over 2 is equal to uh, sorry plus 1 so uh, now it's clear uh, when uh, n is equal to even we have 0 uh, but when n is equal odd we have 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 like this so we have alternating series so uh, if we take uh, uh, first terms we have here uh, phi over 2 here 2 so we can write phi over 4 is equal to when uh, n is equal to 1 uh, we have when n is equal to 1 1 uh, then when n is equal to 3 because uh, when n is equal to 0 we know 0 therefore uh, we don't need to uh, consider uh, or sorry even numbers so when n is equal to 3 uh, we know here we have minus 1 over 3 then plus 1 over 5 then minus 1 over 7 plus so on okay this is the uh, required answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching